Uh, today I want to show and discuss a little bit about Material Ledger, okay, and what we have in Material Ledger, what is new in Material Ledger, and to 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 go a little bit far in Material Ledger because for the last 15 years we are doing the same, but there are a lot of new functionalities related to 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 the Material Ledger that I want to show you. I'd like to thank you, Alex and, and John, for for this opportunity to show uh, in the last in controlling me meetings and, and everything related to this. We have been doing material ledger, material ledger, material ledger. Although it sounds boring, it's not boring. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Sorry for this. Uh, the proposal for the webinar is to show what we have new in material ledger. Because every time we go to a presentation in Material Ledger, they keep saying, oh, you know, we can do valuation up to three different currents, we can do process center evaluation, and so on. But it's the same presentation since 15 years ago, okay? But Material Ledger is much more than this. Uh, you can have more than one Material Ledger. Imagine like this. If you have troubles with one Material Ledger, I'm just saying that you can have up to 999 Material Ledgers. So then it, it really gets interesting. Imagine if you can do a lot of valuations, different different valuations for inventory, also for the cost of goods sold, simulations, everything you use in material ledger. And you can post or not post in FI. So it's really a, a amazing tool to work. Okay. Uh, I will also show what we have new in HP5. Okay, of course we are in seven, but uh, the big change happened in HP5. Okay. 